So our office gets a lot of questions about finances abroad and how to handle manage money um, when studying abroad. So we're here to answer some general questions today and kind of give our opinions. A lot of students will generally bring a debit card or a credit card, which are really great options. Um, we recommend doing that, especially maybe a credit card if you are going to be on one of the longer trips. Um, but with those things, there's some things to consider. Some credit card companies that we recommend looking into are Visa, MasterCard, and Capital One. Otherwise, do not get a Discover card as that is not a thing in other countries, just the United States. If you're going to say abroad, get a credit card now, build up your credit. Um, and obviously that's not feasible for everyone. So a lot of students will also open up a credit card underneath their parents' names um, so that they are able to have a credit card without or with less restricting limits. You still wanna make sure you're contacting the credit card company about when you're gonna, or where you're gonna go and when you'll be there and making sure you know what they charge. So if you're using a card and it happens to get stolen or lost or you just can't find it, some ways that you can deal with that is by having a really great friend who potentially has more money in their account. They can help pay for you and then you can Venmo them um, or getting some cash apps that a lot of countries will use like PayPal or um, Apple Pay. Those will also help. But make sure you first and foremost contact your bank if things do arise where you lose your card or it gets stolen. So you're always going to want to make sure that you exchange your money at reputable ATMs. Um, ATMs that are attached to banks are usually pretty good and you're going to want to avoid ATMs in tourist spots because you'll usually get a really bad exchange rate and there could be card savers. Also when you're exchanging money in the country and you want to bring some U.S. cash along, make sure that you are bringing crisp brand new bills, whether they are $50 or $100. So when you make a purchase with a card, an option will usually pop up and it'll ask if you want to convert your currency to the country's currency or if you want to keep it in USDs. And you should always choose to convert the currency because you have a better exchange rate. When traveling on a short-term trip, make sure you speak with your program director about the different options that they suggest when dealing with money. Be conscious of where you're putting your money and what you're doing with it when you're buying things abroad. If you're gonna be studying abroad for a semester or more, you might wanna consider opening up a bank account in that country. So if you need more questions about finances abroad and or studying abroad in general, make sure to stop by 18 Curtis and come talk to one of us or one of our study abroad advisors.